Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever wondered how you can get ChatGPT to create custom WordPress plugins for you, make use of the code that it actually gives you, create the plugin, and then install and activate that plugin on your site? Well, over the weekend, one of my WordPress students had a very similar question. She wanted to create a very simple plugin that will display the website under maintenance message whenever anyone visited her site. Now, obviously there's a ton of plugins out there that will provide this functionality. The problem is, is that those plugins also had additional features and additional code, and she didn't want all of that. She just wanted a very simple plugin that performs one very simple function, which is to display the website on the maintenance message, and that's it. So she went to ChatGPT, and ChatGPT was able to give her the code. The problem here is that she did not know how to make use of that code to actually create the plugin and install it on her site. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can take the code that ChatGPT has given you and then create a plugin out of that code. Now, as you can see right now, this is the ChatGPT interface. And if you're like me, I love having all these very polite conversation starters with ChatGPT. I said, hello, good morning. And then ChatGPT said, good morning. How can I assist you today? For some reason, I believe that I'm talking to a real person. If I'm, if I'm being polite, if I'm being nice to the person, I'm gonna get favorable responses, right? So I said, can you write me a WordPress plugin for website maintenance? And as you can see, ChatGPT did give me the code. Now, unfortunately, despite the fact that I said good morning to ChatGPT, the code it gave me did not actually work. It ended up crashing my website. So I was going back and forth with ChatGPT trying to figure out what the problem was until I simply said, hey, can you write the code again? And ChatGPT gave me a much better code that actually works. So the point I'm trying to make here is that when it comes to generating custom code with ChatGPT, sometimes you're gonna get bad code. Sometimes you may get good code, but because of the way your website is configured or set up, it may not work. So it's perfectly fine for you to go back to ChatGPT and say, hey, the code you gave me didn't work. Can you give me uh, a newer version of the code? So that's exactly what I did right here and I've tested it. This code works. Let me show you how you will now make use of this code to actually create a plugin that you can use on your site. So first step is I'm gonna copy the code and now I'm going to bring over my favorite text editor, which is Notepad++. If you're on Windows, do not confuse Notepad with Notepad++. Notepad isn't gonna work. You wanna make use of Notepad++. You could also use other kinds of uh, text editors like Sublime. And if you're on Windows or Mac, if you're on Mac, I'm pretty sure there are other text editors out there. So I'm gonna go ahead now and paste the code now, here's the thing. Before we save the code, I want to show you something, okay? Even if you don't have a background in PHP, there are certain pieces of the code that you can actually tweak. For example, right here, it says author, your name. We can add our own name right there, Alexander Oni, and pretend that we're the ones who actually wrote the code. And then right to look at this, it says, this website is currently undergoing maintenance. Please check back later. Obviously, you should know right now that this is the message that will be outputted when the visitor visits our website. So we can customize this. We can say, please check back later in about one hour. All right. So the point I'm trying to make here is that you can make these kinds of very, very simple tweaks to the code. Now I'm going to go to file and then save as, and then the name, I'm going to call this one website dash maintenance. And now the save as type, very important. You want to go with the PHP, which is the PHP hypertext preprocessor file, and then save that file, okay? Now, check this out, okay? I'm going to go over to my desktop right here, create a new folder, call that website dash maintenance as well, open it up, and now I'm going to drag the file, the PHP file in there, and now to create the plugin, we are going to compress this folder to a zipped file. And it's right here. And this right here is our plugin. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to go back to my website. Plugins page right here. Let's go to add new plugin. Okay. And now let's upload the plugin choose the file and now upload install now 
and there you go plugin installed successfully and now we can activate the plugin and now let's see if it actually works so i'm gonna go over to the front page and as you can see right now i can still access it but then if i now log out check this out let me just try to access the site normally press enter now you see it says the website is currently undergoing maintenance please check back later in about one hour so you can see the slight edit i made is actually working so this is exactly how you can create a plugin from the code that ChatGPT has given you however let me warn you that it is very very important that you have a way to access the back end of your website because sometimes depending on the kind of functionality or plugin you're creating you may get locked out of your site now you could either use uh file uh ftp access maybe use filezilla software or in my case right now i'm using the siteground a web hosting company so i have access to my file manager the point here is that if you cannot gain access back to your back end let me just quickly show you how you can disable the plugin that you've just created i'm in my file manager right here you want to go to the public html folder go to wp-content and then go to plugins and then look for the name of the folder that you uploaded in my case it was website maintenance so i can either rename the folder if you rename the folder it will deactivate the plugin or i can simply decide to just go ahead now and delete the entire folder and now the plugin will no longer be active on my site i can now access it uh, as, as as usual so that's pretty much how you can use the code that ChatGPT has given you create the plugin upload the plugin and then of course let it do its work on your site so if you're interested in more videos like this i can show you how to create more advanced kinds of plugins more advanced kinds of functions that you can add to different parts of your uh, wordpress theme different types of files so do let me know in the comment section if you'd be interested in lessons like that but if you enjoyed today's video please do give it a thumbs up share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it and of course if you're new here to the channel welcome to the web monkey my name is alex I make tutorials on WordPress, web development, stuff like that. So if you're interested in content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. If you have any questions or comments about what I covered today, please put them down in the comment section below. I will answer them as soon as I can. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.